Welcome to a brand new section of the course, Compose All the Things. In this section, we will go through some of the most popular composition patterns and tools. We will see how components communicate with each other using props and children, the container and presentational pattern, and how it can make our code more maintainable, and the problem mix-ins tried to solve and why they failed. We will look at what HOCs are and how we can structure our applications in a better way thanks to them. We will learn about the Recompose library with its ready-made functions, interaction with the context, avoiding coupling our components to it, and function as child component pattern and its benefits. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with communication between components. In this video, we will compose React components and learn about the children property. Reusing functions is one of our goals as developers, and we have seen how React makes it easy to create reusable components. Reusable components can be shared across multiple domains of your application to avoid duplication. Small components with a clean interface can be composed together to create complex applications that are powerful and maintainable at the same time. Composing React components is pretty straightforward. You just have to include them in the render method. For example, you can create a profile component by simply composing a picture component to display the profile image and a username component to display the name and the screen name of the user. In this way, you can produce new parts of the user interface very quickly, writing only a few lines of code. Whenever you compose components, as in this example, you share data between them using props. Props are the way a parent component can pass its data down the tree to every component that needs it, or part of it. When a component passes some props to another component, it is called the owner, irrespective of the parent-child relation between them. For example, here Profile is not the direct parent of Picture. The div tag is, but Profile owns Picture because it passes down the props to it. Now we will learn about children. There is a special prop that can be passed from the owners to the components defined inside their render method. It is called children. In the React documentation, it is described as opaque because it is a property that does not tell anything about the value it contains. Subcomponents defined inside the render method of a parent component usually receive props passed as attributes of the component itself in JSX or as a second parameter of the createElement function. Components can also be defined with nested components inside them and they can access those children using the children prop. Consider that we have a button component that has a text property representing the text of the button. It can be used like this. And it renders this button. Now, suppose we want to use the same button with the same class name in multiple parts of our application, and we also want to be able to display more than a simple string. In fact, our UI consists of buttons with text, buttons with text and icons, and buttons with text and labels. In most cases, a good solution would be to add multiple parameters to the button or to create different versions of the button, each one with its single specialization, for example, icon button. However, if we realize that our button could just be a wrapper and we want to be able to render any element inside it, we can use the children property. We can easily do that by changing the button component. Replace text with children and array with string. Applying this change, we are not limited to a simple single text property, but we can pass any element to button and it is rendered in place of the children property. In this case, any element that we wrap inside the button component will be rendered as a child of the button element with the btn class name. For example, if we want to render an image inside the button and a text wrapped into a span, we can do this. This snippet gets rendered in the browser as shown. This is a pretty convenient way to allow components to accept any children elements and wrap those elements inside a predefined parent. Now we can pass images, labels, and even other React components inside the button and they will be rendered as its children. As you can see here, we defined the children property as an array, which means that we can pass any number of elements as the component's children. We can pass a single child in this format. If we pass a single child, we get this error. This is because when a component has a single child, 
React optimizes the creation of the elements and avoids allocating an array for performance reasons. We can easily fix this warning by setting the children prop to accept the highlighted prop types. In this video, we performed communication between components.